Hi, I'm Isaac Orr, and I research the intersection of policy, geology, and economics for the Heartland Institute. I've studied the costs and the benefits of horizontal hydraulic fracturing, or fracking. I'm in Pennsylvania on an active farm where natural gas fracking has taken place. Fracking has generated a lot of interest in the past few years. It's made huge reserves of domestic oil and natural gas available for drilling, creating many jobs, lowering energy costs, and improving our energy independence. But it has also generated concerns about the environmental impact of drilling. The film Gasland ignited the biggest controversy when it showed a Colorado man lighting the water from his faucet on fire. The producers claimed fracking contaminated his drinking water with methane. But this homeowner had drilled his own water well through a coal bed, which is a natural source of methane. This was the source of his contamination, not fracking. This is one of many factual errors in the film that scared many viewers. In fact, in 2015, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency published a complete scientific review of the impact of fracking on drinking water. The EPA study found there is no evidence hydraulic fracturing has led to a widespread contamination of groundwater resources, and the cases of the impact on groundwater are rare. That's not to say that fracking has zero impact on the environment. Wastewater can spill from storage ponds and tanks, and sometimes well casings used to protect groundwater can fail. Human error can also lead to environmental problems, but these are risks that apply to all forms of energy production. Again, such incidences have been rare, and new technologies and safeguards will make sure that they are even more rare in the future. In addition to water, concerns have been raised about fracking's impact on land, especially deep below the Earth's surface. New reports from Oklahoma and Texas claim that fracking caused local earthquakes there. These earthquakes are not caused by the fracking process itself, but they are thought to be caused by the disposal of wastewater generated from all oil and natural gas development into underground injection wells. Wastewater is either recycled and used in the next well or injected into disposal wells underground because doing so protects drinking water aquifers from contamination. Scientists at the United States Geological Survey estimate there are more than 35,000 injection wells used for disposing of oil and gas wastewater in the U.S., and only a few dozen have caused tremors large enough to be felt at the surface. Scientists believe that these tremors may result from pumping too much water too quickly into underground rock formations, which changes the pressure on the rocks and can cause them to slip, resulting in a tremor. To prevent these tremors, drillers are partnering with state regulatory officials to monitor the pressures inside these wells to limit the amount of water that is disposed in them, thereby reducing the chances that they will cause an earthquake. Fracking has had a big environmental impact, though. It has increased the amount of natural gas we consume, and natural gas burns much cleaner than coal or oil, and that's helped reduce America's carbon dioxide emissions more than any other country in the world. This is Isaac Orr for the Heartland Institute.